Hey everyone, I've got some cool things to show you today from this 90s toys and items from a one person's collection. I have to show you several items. I'm going to start out with this Nickelodeon McDonald's microphone. 1992 McDonald's because I want to do this. Hey, good looking. I'll be back to pick you up later. How many of you remember that commercial? That was a Mr. Microphone. That's what that uh, microphone reminds me of. And I love to do that. Say that to my husband. Very cool. Here we've got um, McDonald's, the movie. Well, is this McDonald's? No, I don't think it is. But it's um, from the Flintstones movie. It's got Fred in the car. And Dino in the car. Dino can barely fit. His head is coming out the front. The back wheel is missing. Let me look at the markings on this to see. It just says the Flintstones. U.S. and Amblin. So I don't think this is McDonald's. But it was a candy container. The candy's gone from it now. This little fuzzy bear back here in the back. He's really cute. I looked him up and I do know who he is, but I can't remember. So I'll put that in the description. I'll put everything I know about all of these toys in the description. The colorful little gummy bear guys in the back are from a bingo game. And I love this Garfield bookmark. It's got some holographic look to the back of it. Very cool, like he's in a city. I'll keep your place, but it'll cost you. It's Garfield's attitude all the time. Over here, the uh, chest with a goodie, go the, like a pirate's loot. And this monkey here in the knife all belong to Aladdin. It's from a 90s playset. Actually, this monkey, I don't know if he was from an a place that it doesn't say McDonald's so I'm not sure exactly who he is but this thing I thought was McDonald's it's not I thought it was a McDonald's milkshake guy it looks sure looks like it it's got a straw at the top little wheels on the bottom so we could roll along but this is Hallmark Hallmark cards Actually, I think it says 1989 there. It's kind of hard for me to read, but 1989. Came in this 90s lot. Then we've got this little Simba marker. Probably came with a um, Lion King set. Then this thing here was interesting. I need to look that up, and I will, and I'll put it in the description. It's a Subway, I guess, toy. It came with a meal, dated 1994. It looks like an astronaut's pack, or maybe it goes on a shuttle, something like that. Something space-related, for sure. Then we've got these plastic gemstones, and these, I thought these were cool. They're like little rocks, but they're plastic, gem-colored rocks. We've got a 49ers helmet here. That's one of my son's favorite teams, my younger son. And then this cool, oh, I love this, this cool happy face pin that the arms go up and down. It's hard for me to do it with one hand, but these little arms, when you click it, they'll go up, and then you click it again, they'll go down. Little triceratops here in the back. Just a little plastic guy, random little thing. Um, I'm going to show you this at the end because it uh, you can wind it up. I love this too, this stamp. It's a little cute teddy bear with a heart uh, balloon and stars. This is from Rose Art. Let's see if I can show that. There we go, Rose Art. Very cute. More gemstones scattered around. This star here. I get excited about the smallest little things, but it glows in the dark. Look how cool that is. Glows really well. 
Then we've got a coin here from the Nagano 1998 USA Olympics, Winter Olympics probably for snowboarding. Uh, let's see, it says General Mills, proud sponsor. So I don't know if this came as a General Mills item and with a cereal box, I don't know how that came. These two pogs here at the bottom, Long John Silvers, that's got a space guy on it. It's very hard to see there. Maybe you can see in that. The back says Space Caps, Long John Silvers, Missions. This is also Long John Silvers. Treasure Caps. Look at all that treasure. Sand Crab and I guess the loot he found on the beach. Sunken Treasure. Then here's a Pog. Slammin' Jim. A2 Slammin' Jim seems to be shy. It is really quite the gregarious cap. D5. Treat Entertainment. Here's a Fireman Pog. It's plain on the back. I wonder if maybe that goes with a game. And then here's a Cruisin' with a bird. Looks like an airplane. Propellers. Plain on the back. These pencils that have not never been used... I love them. This one is um, shiny metallic graphics. Reminds me of Lisa Frank. And then here we've got like an aquarium. Look on this pencil. It's not Finding Nemo. Let's see if it says anything on here. Uh, Rose Art, 1996 Rose Art. Very cool. You can hear my voice echoing with that microphone still back there. Here's a little plastic top with a dragon on it. I think it says OTC. You could spin the top and it would spin around like a, a bubble gum or a bubble gum machine toy. <clears throat> Here's a little dragster, tiny little dragster. Plastic. And then these, I remember these so well. A mirror colored foot print with stickers on the back. Stickers like sticky so it can stick to something. Maybe your locker. Here's a unicorn plastic bead. You can make a necklace with it. I guess if you had all the other pieces. I only have this one here. And then I remember these tiny little <clears throat> erasers. There's a penguin and a teddy bear. Super cute. <clears throat> and then finally, I've got here this from the Aquarium of the Smokies. It's metal, like a brass metal with a metallic looking dolphin. Back says Ripley's. Very cool stuff. I love these little sets where a childhood collection is here and you can just think about how the child played with these toys and what they did but let me make some room here and I'm going to show you this wind up VW bug first of all let's see what it says at the bottom it's hard to film in okay it's McDonald's it's McDonald's I don't see a year but I'll try to figure that one out and I'll post that in the description as well. So let me wind him up. He doesn't go very fast. Maybe if I was able to wind him more. There he goes. Very cute. Did you have any of these toys? I'd like to hear about them in the comments if you did or what you know about them. Maybe that I haven't been able to provide any information on. I would love to hear from you. I hope you enjoyed my video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know your memories about these cute little toys. Thanks for watching. See you next time.